All right. Hey there, Celestial Mystics. It's your girl, Tiffany Satchel, your 11-11 coach. Welcome back. <clears throat> okay, let me see if I can get through here. All right. <clears throat> Today, we're diving into a topic that's got some people scratching their heads. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Are angels in the Bible actually aliens? <laughs> I, I didn't. I, I saw a, a video titled that, and I didn't even click on the video, but it just. I just said, hmm. It made me think. Or are like are they aliens or are they truly divine messengers from the heavens <clears throat> but before we start drawing up blueprints for angelic spacecrafts or debating ancient astronaut theories let's pause and ask ourselves well, that's what I did I had to pause and I was like does it really matter do I really care because at the end of the day, whether you see angels as divine beings or intergalactic visitors, what's important is that <clears throat> there's infinite intelligence out there ready to guide us <clears throat> through every twist and turn of life. Now, you know I got to start off with a joke, right? You know I got to give you guys a joke. I look crazy, right? I'm on my way to work. and I still have, I'm still trying to get back in my body from, you know, I ain't going to say. But you guys know what I've been going through if you've been following my videos. So, why did... I hope I don't have to sit in traffic. <clears throat> why did the angel refuse to play hide and seek with the alien? Because good luck hiding when you've got a halo and a glowing aura. <laughs> Get it? The angel can't couldn't hide from the alien because it's glowing, you guys. Anyway. <laughs> the idea of angels being <clears throat> aliens is one of those theories that makes you go interesting. So let's break it down. In the traditional sense, angels are considered spiritual beings with a purpose, right? <clears throat> I hate that I get congested when I'm want to do videos. I ain't feel congested all morning. <laughs> angels are here to guide us, to protect us, and to to deliver messages from the divine, right? <clears throat> These aren't just ancient stories. They show up in moments of real danger and need. Okay? Now, for instance, take Peter's escape from prison in the book of Acts. Chapter 1, verse... No, not chapter 1. Chapter 12, verse 6 to 11. Peter was imprisoned. Heavily guarded. He was going to be executed but an angel appeared that night before his execution woke him up and led him right out of the prison the chains fell off his wrist and the prison gates opened on their own talk about a divine jailbreak now <coughs> please excuse me guys <clears throat> that wasn't just a lucky escape. The Bible describes it as a direct intervention of an angel sent to protect and deliver Peter in a time of great need. It's a powerful example of how angels are depicted in scripture as angels of divine help. That step in when the situation seems hopeless. I even have my own accounts of supernatural protection. 
I've seen this guy for a long time. I was seeing him. <clears throat> and you probably he I, I'm I, I already know that he watches my content. So if you wanted to know like if I was lying, you you actually could ask him, okay? But well he would actually have to ask his ex-wife. I was seeing him for many years and his wife approached me while I was at a bus stop with my child. My son was young, but not young enough <clears throat> to not remember what happened because he had many questions about what he had viewed. She had two other females with her and she came at me, but she couldn't touch me. She came at me. I pushed my, my child behind me and stood there. And she was thrown back. She came at me about three times. The other females with her just stood there. They had no idea what was going on. All they knew is that they were supposed to throw, like, <clears throat> excuse me, she was supposed to throw the front first punch, I guess. And they were supposed to jump me. <clears throat> All she could do was look at me. And I looked right back at her. And then my, me and my son got on the bus and left. Watching them walk away in awe. Okay? I'm, so imagine you running up on somebody. Thinking that you're going to punch them. And you feel, uh, the air just push you back. I didn't move. I didn't touch them. That was an encounter of supernatural protection. Then I had another one, another encounter pertaining to the same man. At this time, at, at, around this time, him and I was working at the same company, working at the same location. I guess this particular female, because he loved having a whole bunch of women, all right, and they always wanted to fight me. I guess she thought that she was going to come into my job and beat me up in front of him but no she approached me and nothing her whole disposition changed he was even stunned he did I, I, like you know sometimes i wonder if he knew but i digress i don't care but i say all of this to say that there is no human being on the face of this planet that could ever cause me to disbelieve in angels ever because I know what I've experienced my own child one time asked me whether God was real he was like I can't see him is he real I was upset at first because I felt like we had enough him and I had shared miraculous situations where things just you know were unexplainable that how could he ask me that so I turned around when he said that and I said what and then we in the middle of the room there's a light bulb right I didn't have the fixture up there there was just a light bulb the covering wasn't on it and when he said that and I turned around we looked up at that light bulb and it looked like a hand was on it not so think about a light bulb now you don't physically see the person standing there but you can see that there is a hand of like fingers a hand covering that light bulb letting my son know yes God is real and I'm here My son almost turned white. And I and I just stood there and I, I I remember just saying to him, like, don't ever question whether God is real or not. What you should be questioning is, are you accessing God? Are you connecting to God? That's what that's what we should be asking. Because I tell you, God surely, truly, truly, truly is real. And no one 
is going to ever change my mind about that because of the things that I've experienced. And from time to time, I asked him if he remembers these things because all of these occurrences and experiences that him and I had was before he was a teenager. And he gets annoyed with me when I ask him about it because he thinks I'm going to test his faith in whatever he's dealing with if he answers me. So he doesn't want to talk about it. Especially like if he comes to me with a problem or an issue. And then I try to bring him back like, do you remember? And he'd be like, Ma, not now. <laughs> like, I don't want to talk about that right now. But that to me, like, that's what helps me. That's what keeps me trusting in the Lord with all my might and all my soul. Because I have evidence. <laughs> I've experienced things. I've experienced things. So, <clears throat> now, where do these alien theories come in? <laughs> like, so some people believe that what ancient people described as angels might have been their way of interpreting encounters with extraterrestrial beings, ETs, right? And my position is, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. All I know is that there's something supernatural protecting me, leading and guiding me, supporting me, providing for me, loving me, healing me. Think about it. Bright lights in the sky, beings descending from above, miraculous occurrences. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? And hey, maybe they weren't entirely wrong. After all, humans have always tried to make sense of the unknown with language and understanding with understanding that they had at the time. But the Bible doesn't exactly say And lo, the angel arrived in a flying saucer. The, the traditional interpretation presents angels as divine messengers and spiritual beings created by God to carry out specific tasks. They're depicted as radiant and otherworldly. Yes, but... They're described in ways that emphasize their supernatural rather than suggesting they're visiting from a far off galaxy. One time my boyfriend lost it. Well, my boyfriend has lost his keys many, many, many times, okay? But this one occurrence when he lost his keys in my house, we looked everywhere. And I mean, everywhere that we could think of, we couldn't find them. I prayed right there in front of him to my angels to help because Lord knows he didn't need to pay another fee to get another key for that truck. <laughs> and then the next morning, he found them in a place he knew he had already looked. And from that point on, he's never doubted my angels supporting me. In fact, he encourages it. He says to me, did you write to your angels today? Did you write your letter to your angels? Did you talk to your angels? He says that. <laughs> and at first I thought he was being funny, but now I know that he's not being funny. Like, he's like asking, like, did you take out your time to do that? You know, I don't want to interfere with you doing that. You need some time to do that. Did you do that yet? <clears throat> And here's the thing, whether angels are supernatural beings or extraterrestrials, the real magic is that there's an intelligence at work 
that is far beyond our human understanding. It's like having a cosmic customer service that's available 24-7. Whether you call on Archangel Michael for protection or think of it as tuning into some sort of higher frequency from beyond the stars. The point is, it works. <laughs> I'm not playing around when I instruct people to communicate with angels and write letters to them. I'll write an essay every day to them if I have to because it works. <clears throat> Recently, I called on Archangel Raphael for healing energy and I felt a shift. Now, was that shift due to some heavily being interceding on my behalf or was I just tapping into a higher consciousness that helped me heal maybe both or maybe it doesn't even matter because the result was the same I was guided and supported through that experience now to add a little more depth let's connect this to some scripture and tarot cards okay now Psalms 91 and 11 For he shall give his angels charge over thee To keep thee in all thy ways I absolutely love that scripture I use that scripture in my rituals all the time Whether you see angels as spiritual protectors or cosmic guardians This verse is about the assurance that you are being looked after by something great. Greater than you. And then we can look at the temperance card, which symbolizes harmony and divine guidance. It's all about balance, folks. Whether you're balancing your chakras or balancing your spaceship. I don't know. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 13 verse 2 Be not forgetful to entertain strangers For thereby some have entertained angels unawares Could those strangers have been visitors from another realm or dimension? Maybe Maybe I often associate this idea with the judgment card, which represents awakening and higher calling. And happy birthday <clears throat> if you were born today because it's Scorpio season, baby. I'm a Scorpio moon. Can you believe that? Scorpio moon. Sun Leo. North Node, North Node Leo. <laughs> wow. What a combination. Um... And the judgment card is Pluto energy because Pluto rules uh, Scorpio. And um, for those of you who don't know that. Um, damn, I gotta get over. Okay. It reminds us to stay open to the possibility, right? Because Pluto energy, if we look at the tree of life, that's the... Um, <clears throat> that's the sphere one that's where we get that's where we receive those aces in the tarot they come from sphere one okay that's pluto energy all right um pluto energy says stay open to the possibility that help can come from unexpected places the aces on the tree of life that's where it comes down from okay that's the first fear the first fear what fear i forgot the name of it i forgot the name of that fear but it's the top one number one okay i'm still learning the tree of life but that i know okay so now, Archangel Gabriel is on that card, okay? Now, 
Arch, well, Archangel Gabriel is on the judgment card. But plenty of us connect with Archangel Michael. And I don't think that we would if we didn't see results, right? So whether he's a warrior angel or some kind of cosmic security guard, calling on Michael is about protection and strength. And I know that most people like to connect him to the King of Swords. I like to connect him to the Strength card because he embodies courage, resilience, and the power to overcome adversity. He's also, he's also associated with the sun. And the Strength card is Leo energy. And the sun rules Leo. So that's just my opinion. So here's where I'm at. Does it really matter if angels are spiritual beings or aliens? At the end of the day, we're talking about infinite intelligence manifesting in ways that we can interact with. What's important is that these experiences guide us, heal us, and help us grow. Whether that guidance is coming from a traditional angel or an advanced being from another planet the takeaway is that there is support available to us beyond what we can see and let's be real humanity has always tried to label and explain the unexplainable some people call it faith others call it science and some call it a little bit of both but if we focus too much on what angels are we miss out on how they work in our lives right okay so if you found today's video intriguing and it got you thinking give it a thumbs up subscribe to the 1111 coach and share it with a friend Who's into angels, aliens, or both? <laughs> I love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Do you think angels could be aliens or are they something entirely different? And does it even matter to you? Share your experiences. I love hearing how infinite intelligence shows up in your life. At the end of the day, my celestial mystics, what matters is that we recognize the presence of divine intelligence working through our lives, whether it's angels, aliens, or something else. The beauty is in the mystery and the guidance we receive. I love you with that agape kind of love. I will see you on the next vid. Deuces.